Hi, my name is Chris Smith, uh, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm here in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. And I'm going to do a, a screencast now on how to download digital media um, using torrenting on an iPad. But before I do that, just explain how I'm recording this. This is my iPad, of course, very obviously. Uh, and But you're seeing a cursor, and the reason is I'm actually uh, mirroring my iPad onto my desktop using uh, Reflector, which is downloaded onto the uh, desktop. Um, so you can actually see this. But everything I'm going to show you in here will be 100% on my iPad. And to prove that, let me go to this uh, app here called Large Type, where I've put in the title. I, I should put in the title. One second. Okay, with the Marvels of Magic, I made that appear quite quickly. I just paused it while I typed it in. So we're finding and downloading digital media using peer-to-peer -peer torrenting on the iPad. Digital media meaning books, uh, videos, music, um, apps, programs. Um, so how can we do that on the iPad? Let me go up here. I'm going to go to a Prezi. I, ha I run a workshop on... Uh, um, uh, torrenting. Let's go to it here and it's going to load and here it is. I run a workshop and this is the visuals from that workshop. If you want access to this it's online. Let me just click on the QR code over here and move down a little bit here and, up and make it big. So there's the URL so if you go to this URL or you point your camera at this QR code uh, and uh, use your QR code reader, it will take you off to to this presentation. And there's lots here, and I'm not going to go through it through it all. Um, there's some explanations about what bit torrenting is and torrenting is here, how it works. Um, maybe a quick 10 second is if I go to here. Normally, if files are shared between people, there's either a server here with a file on and it goes out to different people, or there's this model here where a file is on this computer and sends it to this one and then sends it to this one, sends it to this one. But uh, bit torrenting, torrenting model is you have people with the file on or parts of the file on and they're all sharing to each other multiply in this in this peer-to-peer uh, -peer fashion. These are all sort of words, vocabulary from, from torrenting, and uh, you can look that up more yourself if, if you're more interested in that later. Um, uh, and there's more explanation all around here, and some videos in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this bit. And this bit is how do we torrent on an iPad, and, or an iPhone it could be. Okay, two answers to this. One is, is if your iPad is, is jailbroken, so you can download apps from other places rather than just Apple. Um, then, if it's jailbroken, you've got Cydia or Cydia, which is uh, which holds lots of apps, and you can download from there uh, apps to do all of the torrenting for you in one one go. And two examples I put here: one is called Torrentula, clever name, I love it, and another one's called i i transmission. So if it's jailbroken just get those and follow the do a search for whatever you're looking for to download a book a film a TV program whatever and uh, and it will download it for you if it's not jailbroken if it's not jailbroken then you have to do two things and it's quite simple in in the concept is quite simple one is you use a, a, a torrent search engine and there are lots of them around to find um, your book or your digital media and to find a little bit of code uh, called a, a torrent meta file, a little bit of code which you then use in a in a torrent client to download the, the file or the books you want. Uh, I have to say at this point that of course we have to respect intellectual property, uh, copyright it's not illegal to use BitTorrenting and torrenting to sh share files, but of course it's illegal to download the latest version of Star Trek movie or, or, or whatever it is, because that is protected. Now I know, I'm, I'm a man of the world, I know that people do this, um, but obviously I have to put this warning here that we should look 
to download here um, legally. Um, and of course, as teachers, as educators, I could actually write a book, uh, or a student could write a book, and put it into this environment, this this peer-to-peer torrenting structure, for other students to download it. So you can actually upload. I'm not going to I'm not going to cover that. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to search for something, probably a book, because then it's a small file, and it won't take so long to download. And once I've found the little sort of key or magnet, sometimes it's called. Then I'll go to a, a, to a torrent client, and the torrent client I'm going to use is called ZBigz. ZBigz, Z I suppose. Um, and the search engine I'm going to use to find the t to find it is called Kickass Torrents. I'm not sure whether that full stop should be there. I think maybe not. If you go to http colon slash slash kat kickass dot ph in the Philippines, that will be enough. In fact, I should take that bit out. There's another one here you could go to. If you go to the presentation, enlarge it, you'll find a URL. And there's a couple of more torrent clients here as well. So let me now uh, investigate how to uh, do it, go show you an example. I begin to speak fast, you can tell here. I'm going to go to Safari on my iPad. And I'm going to go to uh, this tab here. Oh, wrong tab. I'm going to go to this tab here. And this is Kickass Torrents. So it's a it's a big directory of stuff that people are sharing, of digital media that thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, are sharing from their computers around the world. Um, uh, so it's not coming from their... So this company is doing nothing illegal except listing them. There's no downloading from this site. It's just a big directory. You might call it a search engine, but it's a bit more like a directory. Things are listed. And you can see the address here is katkickasstorrents.ph because their server is in the Philippines. PH. And uh, this is just their front page, and it's got movies because movies seem to be the more popular things to download. For example, uh, Tasmania Devils. Is that a movie? maybe a torrent movie for 2013 um, the size is 700 megabytes there are actually three files inside whatever you download so it might be the movie and a picture and then a text file with information about it it was only put onto this uh, on kickass torrent 17 hours ago so it's quite uh, new 2900 different people are sharing this which is amazing over 2,000 people are sharing it. Um, but I'm not going to go in here because you can, of course, go and, play and look yourself. That's movie torrents. Actually, they've got the latest TV torrents that they have here. Some music ones, then games, applications, animation, books there. I'm actually going to go to books. Let me go to browse. Now, we could search for something in particular using the search engine. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to go to I'm going to go to books here. And uh, here we go. So there's a number of things here, the complete photo guide to knitting. <laughs> and that's an ebook and uh the size is 153 megabytes. Oh, there's 249 files in the folder that you download and they may be individual pages, I have no idea. It's been listed here th from for three months. There are 974 people sharing it. That's amazing. Let me find something that's smaller, though. I'm going to go for this one. The 4,000 English... Actually, let me break that up a bit. The 4,000 English words essential for an educative vocabulary. And it's an e-book. It says it's an e-book. So it will read in, uh, we'll read it in the iPad e-book reader because that's the format. Uh, it's quite small, it's one and a half megabytes. There are three files in the folder you download. It's been there a year and there's quite a few people sharing it so it shouldn't take so long to download. Now there are a number of things along here and the only two I'm going to mention is this thing called Magnet which is that one there. There's a download button there and sometimes clicking on that will actually just download it. Um, you can experiment. 
But what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this bit of code that comes from this download button here. Now let me click on that. Okay, I'm not using the pointer, I'm actually using my finger, of course. And then you get this amazing code here. So this is the torrent code which contains the information to allow all the computers to share and for you to sh not only download from other computers but also to share back to other computers so long if, if you want to. Um, now I want you to copy, get a piece of paper and pen and write this down. No, I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to copy this URL because this URL contains all of the information. Select all and then copy. So that's it. We've got the bit of code which uh, has all the instructions in it to allow us to connect with all the torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer computers. Now I'm going to go to ZBidZ, which is here. So this is the torrenting client now. So this allows me to put the code in and then it will connect to other places and do its business. So let me put it in here and paste and then say go. And what it will do now is it's come with this information, the 4,000 English word essential for an educated vocabulary. And you can see it's starting to download here, 7%, 88%. And that was quite quick. I think it's not actually downloading it to the iPad. I actually think it's downloading it somewhere else, maybe on its own servers. And that might be a bit dodgy because maybe if it was copyright protected material, they could be accused of actually um, actually uh, breaking the law. And I want to look at these download arrows here. I think these are the t three files that are here. 1.6, 89 bytes, something small, 800 bytes, something really small. 1.6 megabytes, I think this is probably the main book. So instead of downloading all three things, I'm just going to download the book and all I'm going to do is to click on there. So I'm clicking on there and you can see there's something happening here and what is happening now is the book is downloading onto my iPad. You see it's slowly going. I was thinking at this point I might pause my recording while it does it but it's actually working quite quickly. Actually I've been going for 12 minutes, this is far too long. Sorry about that boys and girls. But I'm not going to pause now because we're almost there come on don't let me down or should you know, I don't have to pause it of course if it was a big file this could take hours literally hours if it was a movie it could take literally hours and here it is and what it's done it's opened it up in uh, it's opened it up in here oh a strange layout oh, here we go as I scroll down and you can see this is page 2 of 159 pages I think it might, oh, here we go, about the book. And some of the pages may not have downloaded yet. The words, oh, there's a lot of blank pages here. Here we go. So you could read it just like this. Actually, if I turned my, my iPad is landscape now. If I turned it vertical, portrait, I think this would be easier to read. Um, and also, if I put my finger on here, is it going um, you can see that up here it says open in. Let me do that again. Press it open in. Let me touch open in. And you can choose what you think is going to be a better app to open it in. And let me just see what there is. See if there's the. Uh, uh, it's not. Doesn't want to open in uh, in the iBook store. So depending on what you've got on your machine, you could open in something else. Web to PDF is here. PDFs. In fact, I'm not even sure whether it is a PDF. It may well be a PDF, and that's why it's not opened up in the iTunes ebook reader. So that's it. Now I think the the thing to do is to to play around with this a bit more, and just just see what's going on. I I still prefer to download in. Actually, let me go back here again to my Prezi. I still prefer to download in. Uh, something like uh, views, V-U-Z-E, and there's information here about that. And I might stop there. Let me just check that I've, that I've not forgotten anything. No, I've not. That's it. I hope you enjoy that. Sorry, it's 15 minutes is a bit long. Um, 
but you just need to play with the different torrent search engines, play with the different downloading clients. Um, but if you do it on your iPad and it's a big file, especially movie files, then it's going to be very long time download. Oh, I should mention one other thing. Um, let me go back to Prezi. Nearly forgot about it. You go to Prezi, and let me go to the here. The reason I put these here, these two apps, they're free apps. Uh, I, Filer isn't a free app, but Azul is a free app. Filer and Azul are worth downloading because Filer will will display many different files. If you download them and your iPad doesn't know what to open them in, then Filer may well open them for you. Azul is a media player. The iPad doesn't like WMV files uh, and other types, a lot of other AVI files for movies. Um, Azul is a brilliant um, app, and I have a feeling it's free, which will play Windows meta files or AVI, different types of movie files. But if you're downloading movie files, you're going to have to leave your iPad on for hours for it to download it. So maybe better to do on your on your laptop. And uh, and that's it, boys and girls. I think I will stop at that point. Let me go back to my final splash screen. There we go. So if you want to find out more about me, you can go to about.me slash shamblesguru. Have fun.